Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So I wanted to pick up on this helical gear uh, sample and some other methods that we can use for machining it. In this example, we want to look at uh, wrapping. Uh, there are a couple of uh, steps that we need to do uh, before we can really uh, set this up for uh, wrapping. Um, we need to unwrap the part. So what I want to do is uh, create some geometry and um, so we'll do arc two points uh, let me see here uh, let's try that again uh, let me do this okay so Utilities, extract edges single. Let's turn that off. Arc, two points. So we'll do one there. And then we'll do one here. Okay. And then we'll do dimension horizontal. All right. Okay. So now we have the diameter that we're working with. So the next thing that uh, we want to do is we're going to create another layer. Okay. And we want to unwrap our geometry. So we'll go to utilities and then we'll do unwrap. And um, we're going to select all these. Uh, I did it out of order. Let's define our. Uh, diameter, so we measured that, so that's 3.622. Now we'll come in here and select all these surfaces, and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cancel. And what that's done, uh, based on that model, it's uh, laid out all the wireframe. Okay, so from here, uh, what I want to do. There's some lines that don't quite match up, so we're going to just select those and delete them. The other thing we want to do is we want to move uh, this section so that it meets up with that section over there. So we're going to do uh, a translate. Actually, before we do that, you can see this is all interpolated. It's all little sections. So we're going to do arc, arc fit. And then that will put it back into larger sections. This is utilities, translate, pick, pick. And we're going to take this section from here to here. And we're going to move it from here uh, over to there. Okay. There must have been another line that, that I deleted, but that's fine. Okay, so now, so that's the shape, you know, unwrapped. So what I want to do from here is I'm going to go back to a top view here. And uh, I want to grab just like a section of this. So I'm going to grab this one, this one, these these sections here and then we'll do from here to here and then uh, we'll grab these sections over here this 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 all right and uh, what we're gonna use this for I'm gonna just uh, change the color that it is let's go to yellow all right, and then we're gonna move the yellow geometry over to its own layer. And then we'll turn that layer off. Okay, so now from here, this section, I'm gonna get rid of these internal lines because I don't need those. And then now I'm gonna generate a uh, skin surface. So I'll throw a skin on it. So we'll make this blue and then we'll do a skin. 
So we'll do surface, skin, we're gonna go from here to there, from here to there, here to there, here to there. Okay, so now we have this skin. Alright, so now, from there, we're gonna take this skin and we're gonna make some copies. So we're gonna do utilities, translate, sketch enter, copy, uh, we'll just say one for now, that's fine. So we'll select, uh, okay, let me, uh, I'm gonna break it down the surfaces first. So we'll do utilities, uh, stitching, unstitch solid the surfaces, okay. Then we're gonna do utilities, translate, copy, and we're gonna grab this surface, this surface, this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay? And then we're gonna copy it from the end of that. Zoom in, okay, from the end of that, and then we'll come over to this one, and we'll move it to there, okay? So that gives us that surface there and there. You know, now we can uh, translate and we're gonna grab this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're gonna move from there to there. So now we have that other group. Okay, all right, so at this point, we have uh, some surfaces that we want to machine that are unwrapped. We have a boundary to contain the tool path in that section. And uh, that's about it. So we're going to turn this off here. And uh, there really isn't any additional prep geometry that we need at this point. So in the next video, uh, this is all our CAD prep. In the next video, I'll go ahead and get into the tool path side.